Hey, hey, it's Gail Foley coming to you live from my home based office here on Briargate Pond. I want to talk to you for just a few minutes this morning. First of all, don't you love my tan look? It's my lighting on my camera. Okay, anyway, um, I, I want to ask you if you ever felt just foggy, and I don't mean you got the flu or you got a cold and you're all plugged up. I mean, in daily life, we go through certain things that suddenly we just have this fuzz for our brain. It's just like, whoa, nothing's working, nothing's connecting. And, you know, this happened to uh, me the other night. We were out at our kids' grandkids' concert, and it gets very packed for this Thanksgiving event. I mean, just packed out. And so we arrive at 6.15 for a 7 o'clock concert. And we're, the traffic's backed up. My husband drops him off at the door, and he goes parks. Well, our other kids were dropping off their daughter, and by the time they got there, the parking was almost a mile walk away. So we all, we had saved seats for them, so they come in. So when we left, we decided we're all going to go to the ice cream parlor. We're going to have an ice cream. It's sort of a tradition. And here's what I want you to understand. Um, I got my two son-in-laws there, my husband there, my two grown daughters there, and uh, two teenagers and, and my grandson who's 19. So my son-in-law says to the other son-in-law, hey, I'll drop you off at your car. Okay. My daughter says we'll take Morgan with us. Okay. And there's just me and my husband. And my daughter's left behind to wait for her husband to come and pick her up. Have I got you confused yet? I was totally confused. I did not know that my husband was going to follow behind my son-in-law to drop the other son-in-law off. Guess what I realized as we got there? We could have put my daughter in the car and delivered her with her husband. Hello. Foggy, foggy, foggy. The other thing that makes me foggy is overindulging in learning. Excuse me a second. As you pretty much know, I am a personal development junkie. have been for years. I'm trying to swear off of it. It's not working. But anyway, I have embraced for the past year dedication and focus to learning Internet marketing. And with learning that, I've learned that one of the things that I love to do besides video is I love to interview people. So I'm working on a podcast that I will load up into iTunes and I will be interviewing people. And then I decide to do another little thing over here on the side that would bring immediate income and then I'm looking at how to get my video traffic going and I'm like, oh, oh, the fog sets in and nothing happens. <laughs> so my word of caution to you today from my perspective is find one thing that you want to embrace, that you want to learn, and focus on it entirely until you learn it. I've learned my lesson very thoroughly. I had three phone calls yesterday. One was asking me for some advice, and I was very um, grateful that I had some good ideas for this person. The second call was the same type of call. I have some ideas run past you, and it looks like it might be an exciting project that we worked together with the video, so I'm not going anywhere different on that one. And then my other friend calls me and asks me how I'm doing, and she made me promise that I am not to start anything else without calling her first, that I am to focus 100% on my podcast before I do anything else. And I so appreciate that because I promised myself I've made a goal that I'm going to get a podcast done in January. So I just thought I would share with you the wisdom she shared with me yesterday and what I know to be true. Pick one thing. Focus on it. Be successful with it. Learn it. Then move to the next project. Do not embrace 16,000 things at one time because guess what? Nothing happens well, okay? Ah. 
I'm proof of that. So with that, I'm going to bid you farewell for today and ask you to pass out a smile. It is so contagious, you know, and it will make a difference in someone's day. Take care. Bye-bye.